The school's programs are growing and giving students more opportunities to find their future careers as early as their first year in high school. In our school, we have many different kinds of CTE programs that give us more freedom to figure out what we want to do with our futures. The effect it has on our students is helping us decide what we are most interested in and what we want to do during and after college. Young students need to be given the opportunity that we are given in high school to drive them towards a great future. Stagecraft is a CTE program that we have here at Tahoma where the students learn different trades like working with hand tools and saws and drills. Um, they also get to um, go up in catwalks and help with the productions for theater. The teacher for that class, Mr. Remfer, also um, is the pack manager and used to direct some of the plays. So he has a lot of experience in this field and helps the students a lot to um, learn about all of the different things that they can do. I want to think Stagecraft has impacted the student body positively in the sense that uh, it's just one more avenue for students to be actively engaged in the arts, uh, that perhaps they're not um, they don't want to act or maybe they don't sing, but it allows them to be part of a production and everything that goes into that. Um, so it's had a positive impact. There are any number of students in here that uh, have been involved in stagecraft, that have um, been involved in productions, uh, backstage, lighting, scenic design, sound design, any number of things. So uh, it's given positive opportunities to a lot of, a lot of students who otherwise wouldn't have had them. I'll mention collaboration simply because it's so critically important that uh, technicians learn how to work with other people and to learn how um, the work that one person does, how it fits into a greater whole. Uh, so for example, my scenic designer, uh, we're, which we're studying right now, scenic designers learn how that they can design something but it has to complement the lighting and how the lighting has to complement the costumes, how the costumes need to complement everything and how it would work with actors and what actors look good in these colors or uh, against which set or we have to build the set this way because we have this type of actors. So collaboration is probably the, uh, the largest skill um, that they come out, come out of this program with beyond the technical. I think, I think I agree with him. It is a lot of fun to be in stagecraft. You get to build a lot of stuff. It's a very hands-on interactive class. Getting to build whole sets is just something to be really proud of, especially in the theater. So I'd say technical skills, you get a good understanding into the background of theater, sort of willing disbelief, how to crew a show, the, the whole lighting, sound, everything technical, basically in technical theater and stagecraft. It, it's very clearly taught and very well, very easy to understand. Yeah, definitely. The robotics and metals classes play an important role at Tahoma High School. These classes prepare the students to find new passions and be able to work with potentially dangerous tools in a safe and comfortable environment. The robotics and metals classes can lead students directly into the workforce, giving them a starting off point where they can be successful for the rest of their lives. Uh, students have the opportunity, opportunity to work with metals, which a lot of school districts and um, other entities don't have the opportunity to do. So students are able to come in here and be creative and uh, learn hands-on experience, have hands-on experiences that typical students won't have elsewhere. Uh, the lifelong technical skills that you can gain from this program are uh, like teamwork and, um, and self-reliance in other areas. I know it kind of contradicts itself, but really I rely on a lot of people, but then at the same time I rely on myself to get specific jobs done. Um, and I've just learned how to work with people, honestly. That's one of the things that you have to really work on, is just talking and working with people more uh, and you know, kind of being more trustworthy. Some of the non-technical skills that I think are applicable is project management, learning to look at a long-term project and break it down into smaller parts so you can accomplish it in a given amount of time, uh, group dynamics and learning how to deal with people with different opinions and ideas, and then problem solving, looking at um, a new situation, trying to figure out some of the details and then working through those problems. I think those are 
non non technical things that we do well um, in the robotics program that relate to anything in life. The Tahoma High School Robotics class has an accompanied team that is a part of the first robotics competition. This team is 2046 Bare Metal, and they have earned many awards over all of the seasons. This year, the awards they have achieved are the Innovation Design Award, the Autonomous Award, and the Chairman's Award, which is the most prestigious award in their first robotics competition. Bare Metal competed at the World Competition this year in Houston, Texas. The video production program at Tahoma High School gives students the resources and opportunities to grow and create. The program's teacher is Mr. Hag, who created and has run this program for many years now. The most notable thing done by the Tahoma video production crew is their weekly video announcements that are created by students with guidance from Mr. Hag. Lifelong skills. Um, well, number one is just uh, how to use a camera, how to use it correctly. Um, because regardless of whether you're going into the entertainment industry or any of those things, um, people pick up their, their phones and use them as cameras every single day. So understanding how to frame things with your camera, um, as well as how to get um, smooth panning, tilting, you know, smooth camera movements, um, and even gaining some basic uh, understanding of the manual settings will completely change how how they use their cell phones. Um, so that's gonna overflow into everybody's everyday, everyday life. Um, you know, how often do your parents pick up uh, cell phones and shoot you playing soccer or shoot you at band or shoot you at any of those kinds of things? Normally the images are pretty darn bad. Um, hopefully my kids will have a little bit better, uh, a little bit better understanding of how those work and um, can, can produce a little bit better images. So the room's just always active. You can tell people care about creating. Um, not to mention all the announcements that we produce that goes to the whole student body. People get to see what's going on. Um, so honestly, I think most people that go to Tahoma know what video production is. And a lot of those people have gone to video production just for all the things that we do for the student body. What skills other than technical skills can be learned from this program? Um, pretty much just tons of skills that'll be helpful in um, any business environment. So project management skills, organizational skills, time management skills, communication skills, um, anything that has to do with teamwork. Uh, working in a video production environment, it's a huge team. Um, just to record a set of announcements um, for my kids in advance, that's like a, a team of eight that, that has to be working together and be on the same page um, and have basic communication skills so that they can um, utilize their time wisely and capture images that are going to be uh, useful to them uh, as they work to edit together their, their final projects. I have learned time management and that's a big one just because the way Mr. Hag sets up the class you know there's due dates he hardly helps you he just says it's due by here if you have questions come to me um, but get it done and the difficult part about that is if you want to do anything outside of school that's all on you and you need to be a self-directed leader to be able to figure that out um, so it's definitely taught me time management um, it's taught me how to be a good teammate because there's when it comes to filming there's directors there's editors there's camera there's audio there's actors so you got to be collaborative to put out a great final product School programs are growing and giving students more opportunities to discover their path and look for future careers as early as their first year in high school. In our school, we have many different CT programs that gives us more freedom to figure out what we want to do with our futures. The effect it has on our students is helping us to discover what we're most interested in, explore different options uh, that we want to do during and after high college. Young students need to be given the opportunity that they are given in high school to drive them towards a great future.